Hello there, getting back into Glossier Sundays with a look at some skincare. Priming Moisturizer was one of their first product launches in 2014. Then Priming Moisturizer Rich joined the ranks in 2017. So what's the difference? I always use Priming Moisturizer in the morning and Priming Moisturizer Rich at night. Let's compare the pair in a moisturizer matchup. The original Priming Moisturizer is an easy, no fuss product. I've used it every single day for three years straight, actually. It's become a staple in my morning skincare routine. Super lightweight, a bit runny actually, but I really like light moisturizer during the day. Priming is in the title because it primes the skin nicely for makeup, but it's a moisturizer. I wouldn't call it a primer. It does create a super smooth, even base for makeup though. Feels very hydrating and looks nice and dewy. It adds a nice bounce and glow to your skin, but not because there's anything in it to add glow. Your skin's just really hydrated, so it reflects the light and looks healthy and soft. It's appropriate for all skin types. Mine is normal to dry, but I'd be interested to hear how this has performed on other people's skin. I only use quite a small amount to cover my whole face, but this is designed to be built up. If you're feeling a bit dry in certain areas or want to add more glow to the high points of the face, layer away. Amongst the ingredients are hyaluronic acid, great for hydration and softness, and an anti-redness complex to calm skin and reduce redness. At some point in the three years I've been using it though, the formula did change. Hyaluronic acid is now lower down the list and some new things came in. Retinol palmitate, a mild form of retinol or vitamin A, is now in there. I personally haven't had any sort of negative reaction. I didn't even know the formula had changed until someone else told me, but just something to be aware of if your skin is particularly sensitive, so check the ingredients. Now bringing in the heavyweight champion, Priming Moisturizer Rich. This is the heavier, creamier sister the Creme de Glossier, a night cream, winter cream, anytime cream if you need extra hydration. The texture is much more rich and thick compared to the first. You can use this day or night, but because it's heavier, I always prefer to use it before bed. Having said that, it's not so heavy that you feel like you're coated in product. It still absorbs really nicely if you use a light layer and you're not going to stick to your pillow. Fancy hydrating ingredients in there to deliver lots of moisture, red algae, ceramides, fatty acids, the anti-redness complex is in there again, and murumuru and shea butters create a really luxurious smooth texture. Smooth just keeps coming to mind with both of these moisturizers, to be honest, but PM Rich isn't a cream that's thick or sticky. You don't have to really work it in or warm it up between your fingers. It applies beautifully on clean skin or over the top of Glossier's Super Bounce Serum, leaving you with a baby soft face. This one is softly scented with lavender oil, which is meant to have a calming effect on the skin too. It's not a fragrance I'm usually a big fan of if it's too strong, but I love it in this. It's subtle, but just adds to the feeling that this is a treat to use. I really look forward to using this as the the last step of my routine at night. If you're an absolute face moisturizer connoisseur, I don't necessarily think these products have reinvented the wheel, but they're certainly excellent everyday basics. Let's face it, priming moisturizer has kept me reaching for it for years because of the light texture and super smooth glowy finish. And priming moisturizer rich is soft and luxurious, but doesn't cost a bomb compared to some crazy pricey creams on the market. Interested to hear what you all think. Are you a fan or have you found something to rival these two? I'm heading to New York in a couple of months and you're all coming with me to the Glossier showroom. See you next time.